would next ask uh, Ms. Pemberton from the Lion Rock Institute. Mm, okay. Uh, Noting the government's continued dedication to addressing public concern and thanking LegCo for hosting today's discussion, frankly speaking, this panel, just as additional guidelines and procedures for upstairs bars, is redundant. Existing assessment regulations already govern every single concern expressed in the public consultation. Cries for increased regulation for liquor licensing in upstairs bars are misdirected. Public order, building safety, environmental nuisances, all these concerns are already subject to regulation. If anything, this continued discussion merely reflects a dearth of public participation in liquor licensing process and a lack of public knowledge of existing regulations. Additionally, over-regulation will be seen to the public as pandering to those unfamiliar and lacking in either time or interest to become better acquainted with liquor licensing regulations. Rather than, rather than blindly adding more guidelines and procedures to the existing extensive list for assessing liquor licensing applications, the root of public concern would be best pacified by ensuring that enforcement of the regulations is up to par and encouraging dissidents to translate words into action and express their views to the Liquor Licensing Board directly during the liquor, liquor licensing application process. The Line Rock Institute, in fact, respectfully suggests that we consider reducing the regulations for upstairs bars. In terms of resources, Hong Kong is severely struggling with land and space, and upstairs bars are examples of eggs in the beer of our strong economy. These bars represent Hong Kong people's ingenuity in making productive use of space. Lower regulations, but strong enforcement of those basic regulations that protect public safety and protect public order, for example, allows businesses such as upstairs bars to capitalize on space that was previously not well used without infringing upon public order and public safety. We need a leaner and more flexible liquor licensing process, and we must not erect barriers that prevent entrepreneurs from making the most of Hong Kong's limited space. In doing so, we widen the circle of opportunity and deepen the meaning of our economic freedom. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Pemberton.